it again. Would first responders be sufficiently prepared? While many improvements have been made since 9-11, it turns out some first responders have fallen through the cracks. D.C. firefighters practice handling a possible bioterrorism threat. Virginia firefighters train to rescue passengers trapped in a burning subway car. But in Clinton, Maryland, just 15 miles outside the nation's capital, little is state-of-the-art. Our phone unit is a 1973. We're going to take that out of service probably next month. The all-volunteer department says its vehicles, building, and equipment are aging and may not be up to the task if called upon to help respond to a massive terrorist attack in D.C. We need the resources to help us do that. And I don't think we get that. They say, well, you know, the local volunteer fire department can handle that job, but you know, funding is not there to help us do that job. Nearly three quarters of the nation's firefighters are volunteers. Many rely on grants to fund equipment upgrades and can't afford to take the time off from their paying jobs to get the extra training full-time firefighters receive at work. That is going to create a real problem. It means that there's a gap in there. It means that if there's an attack, you won't have the type of sophisticated training that's necessary to respond uh, effectively. The Homeland Security Department says it's spent $13 billion since 9-11 training and equipping first responders nationwide. We'll continue to do our best to make sure that those volunteer firefighters are aware of what's already out there, uh, that they can use the funding already available to help them backfill to get the training they need. But the chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee says two-thirds of the grant money awarded since 9-11 is stuck in the pipeline. Well, the House has passed a bill to get those funds flowing to first responders who need it most and to make sure that departments near high-risk areas get more money than those far from likely terrorist targets. K-9 units.